In this tutorial, we're going to use GraphPad to carry out a t-test from data that we've organised in an Excel spreadsheet. So first of all, let's remember that a t-test is used to determine whether there is a significant difference between two sets of data. Now those two sets of data can be whichever two sets of data you wish to compare. In this example, I have two classes, one which is receiving an intervention that might improve their learning and the other which is just a control. Each class was tested before and after the study. And there are two questions that we're going to want to address here. First of all, is there a significant difference between the two groups before the study? Second of all, is there a significant difference between the percentage increase of each group? You may just have two sets of data that you want to compare and only one question that you want to answer. It really depends on the data sets that you've collected. Either way, the method for using GraphPad to conduct the t-test will be the same. So before embarking on the t-test, we're just going to complete our data analysis here by calculating percentage change or in this case, it's evidently a percentage increase. We do this by calculating the difference. So you can see I'm doing the after minus the before and dividing this by the original or the starting value, that's the before value, and multiplying the whole thing by 100. If you then grab the little square on the bottom right-hand side of the first cell, you can drag this formula all the way down the column. And just to make it simple to look at, we're changing each cell to show the value to one decimal place and just centering it. Makes it easy to see. We're then going to repeat this for the other group. So let's look at our first question. Is there a significant difference between the two groups before the study? First of all, we compose our null hypothesis, which is always that there is no significant difference. So for this question, the null hypothesis is there is no significant difference between the two groups before the study. To help, let's first identify the data that we're going to compare. The data for the two groups before the study is now being highlighted in red. As I said in this tutorial, we're going to use graphpad.com to carry out the t-test. You can access this tool by going to the website shown here. Alternatively, you can also find it by typing GraphPad and t-test into Google. Now, using GraphPad is quite simple. Once you've opened the website, you're just going to make sure that you've typed the two sets of data that you would like to compare into the two columns. You have group one and you have group two. So first of all, just check that you've typed the correct data into group one and group two as you define them. To carry out the t-test, we would choose, in this case, an unpaired t-test. And that's because we have two independent groups, a control and an intervention, thus they are unpaired. That is as opposed to having one group that you tested at two different time points. That would be a paired t-test. Once you've chosen your t-test, you just need to hit calculate now. GraphPad will calculate a p-value and will tell you whether the difference between your two groups of data is considered to be statistically significant or not. Let's take a closer look at what that p-value really means. So in biology, we tend to use the 5% significance level, which as a decimal is 0.05. If the p-value you receive is less than 0.05, then we reject the null hypothesis. There therefore is a significant difference. Essentially what this means is that your observed data is not consistent with the assumption that the null hypothesis is true, in other words, the assumption that there is no significant difference. So if it is not consistent, instead of there being no significant difference, there is a significant difference. Conversely, if your p-value is greater than 0.05, then your observed data is consistent with the assumption of the null hypothesis. In other words, is consistent with the assumption that there is no significant difference. Therefore, there is no significant difference. When you conclude, you should mention the significance level, 0.05, the p-value in relation to it, greater or smaller, whether you accept or reject the null hypothesis, and whether there is or isn't a significant difference. So for my example, at the 5% significance level, my p-value is greater than 0.05. Therefore, we accept the null hypothesis, 
there is no significant difference between the two groups before the study. So in my study, there was a second question that I wanted to answer as well, and that is, is there a significant difference between the percentage increase of each group? So we once again begin with the null hypothesis that there is no significant difference between the percentage increase of each group. So once again, following the same method we went through the first time and using GraphPad, we would enter the data for percentage increase for both the control and the intervention into the two columns in GraphPad. Once we've checked that we've entered it correctly, this is again an unpaired t-test to independent groups, and then we go ahead and hit calculate now. What we see is that at the 5% significance level, our p-value is less than 0.05. Therefore, it's not consistent with the assumption that the null hypothesis is true. In other words, that there is no significant difference. If it is not consistent with that null hypothesis, it must therefore be that there is a significant difference. And you'll see that indeed is what GraphPad reports.